Hey there, so today we have another video. This is, I guess I didn't do a pre-video about the test. So I guess we'll, we'll cover that. Well, first off, we just took the advanced Cicerone exam. We think we both passed and we'll cover that. And um, so I guess I'm gonna share my story first about like arriving and I can talk about yours. So I arrived on Sunday, uh, met up with Josh, um, works at Carbach and, uh, and also Colin who owns a, uh, a small group pub in town. And oh. <laughs> we're doing it impromptu, so I'm gonna have a drink too. Yeah, um, why not? <laughs> <laughs> so we're not drinking beer. Right? I've been bearded out. Not, a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless I'm going to a brewery, I'm a little bearded out. But um, so I came in and I've only had a few of the advances run all flavors before then. Uh, I went to Florida Brewers Conference and then so we did um, a panel of only the advances run uh, all flavors and it was rough. Uh, I picked up on. Out of the six, I was able to pick on, on Metallic and Isovaleric, which I, Metallic I learned, Isovaleric I've had before. And then the other four, I'm still a crapshoot for me, mostly. Uh, acetic, maybe. Oh my god, I'm twice at least. Yep. Lactic, uh, Mercaptan, uh, Hydrogen Sulfide. Huh? There's no lactic. On the advanced. Oh, and, oh, oh like, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, studying all flavors. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Those are the six that you have to learn for advanced Cicero. Um, had a rough time with those. Um, did pretty well with some uh, commercial examples, so uh, not bad. And then we met up. On Monday, uh, you flew in. Yeah. And then uh, we spent four hours four doing, hours. doing four panels of all flavors. Um, I On the four panels, I did 15 out of 24. You did 18 out of 24. Josh did 18 out of 24. Colin, my guy. Colin Gosh. killed it. 22, 22 out of 24. 22 crazy. out of 24. And he's just got a little bit to tweak on, but that's more than enough to pass. And we did some commercial where I was studying. We got dinner. Then we went to study again. Yeah. Did some more commercial. Yeah. And then so this morning we show up to the test. Do you want to talk about like any? Well, do you want to talk about your studying? You I mean, you got a lot of studying though. Know? Oh, studying! I think we, I had a. So he's in California with yeah with, Scott and Chris with, with Scott and Chris. Uh, now they are they are current advanced strongs. They took the exam. Um, Scott took it last year and Chris did it this year in Jan. They both passed the exam and they're helping me out to get to the same level. And we did a lot of practice, like the whole panel, the complete panel. And uh, uh, I think I felt pretty, pretty confident. Uh, I thought like I would probably like miss one or two off flavors in the final exam, or like maybe, maybe one beer style at the, at the most. But I think we, we did good, um, good practice. And uh, last night really helped with the off flavors and uh, some last minute commercial example practice. I mm -hmm. think, I think that really helped a little bit. Brush up the, the basics. Yeah. So the two of us had an exam this morning at 10 a.m. and it's literally 1.30 p.m. right now. Yeah. So uh, we got done by 12.30 or something, right? Yeah. And then uh, Josh and Colin are taking it any moment now. They're probably at the exam center yeah. right now. 2 p.m. They're yeah. literally about to take it any minute. Um, so we start off. We got to meet Jim Blair and Neat the Neil Woody. So Advanced Research Master's cool. Yeah. Um, I listen to the podcast. It's really funny to hear Jim's laugh and real person. Because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Half that podcast is the two. two it's awesome. Laughing. Yeah, yeah. False yeah, yeah. Nice, adults. Yeah. It's amazing podcast. False Adam Girls, check them yeah. out. Uh, two Master's Thrones. Actually, uh, two Generation. people taking Master to me, a generation. Yeah. Um, so, start off hot. We do all flavors. Um, How did you feel about all flavors? Like, on your first go? Like, were you confident on, like, oh, you? <laughs> uh, my first go, I got one. And I was like, oh, this sucks. You know, like, it's, 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 right, right, right. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's, I don't know about other people, but for me, the level two spikes are just so much easier. You know, we're talking DMS, um, transudonol, diacetyl, uh, uh, yeah, oxidation transudonol, um, uh, diacetyl, uh, light struck, uh, 3MBT, uh, did I say acetyl No, no, that's, that's the, right. and that's it, I don't know. Absolutely, uh, DMS, di diacetyl, um, metallic. No, metallic. For, no for, 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 for level two. two. Is um, it, is it tw 11 total now? It's twelve. Huh? It's twelve in total. Twelve. Twelve in total. Yeah. So which yeah. is six on? So we, we got six, right? Like we. No, but we're the six on level two then. Because there's six there's six for level three sister on. Uh, advanced sister on then. Yeah yeah yeah. Whatever. I. The math the math is there whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I I did one round and I only got one which would be diacetyl easy. Uh. I had a hard time with metallic, and then I eventually found it. I almost went DMS. I was not quite sure, and then it did the take. So yeah, the skin so test. You got to dab it. There's a trick with uh, metallic where you get literally 
stick your finger in beer and put it on your hand like this, and then it smells like pennies. <laughs> and it's a little bit of sensation and flavor on the palate, but that's the one. It's None of the beers will give it to you other than that. And it's a very distinct one. So thankfully, that's a gimme. Isolaric is very stinky. And I, I didn't even pick it up on. We'll talk about it later on the test. Yeah. Um, but I went again. I got that. Oh, so chlorophenol. Uh, I never got to taste. Dude, good job on that. <laughs> I yeah. never got to taste chlorophenol. Um, Josh had all the off flavors other than chlorophenol. And I, I miss bringing yeah, this spike he, did, of he was supposed chlorophenol. to bring it all the way from California and forgot yeah. it. Uh, but thankfully, that was pretty easy. So thankfully, I would, if I had to retake it, I would have three locks ish as well. Uh, and chlorophenol is like, it's weird. It's like, yeah, it, it almost smells like transphenol, but then like it's it, it's bleach. Chlorine, it's it. it's intense like yeah, it's, it's very intense, yeah. you you know that there's something wrong with the beer yeah. and then you need to like figure out what it exactly smells like yeah uh but i we were just talking about how it, it can smell the chlorophenol because since he, he hadn't had the spike before yeah and i think he got it so yeah yeah, yeah so first time i was like oh yeah i got it yeah um so i got the metallic i got that i got acetic it, right which is quite light um i've gotten the acetic before at uh previous um, the practice conference, conference I did, but then the oh, practice I had, hard, I had a hard time. Uh, Dude, doing practice. in the practice I had a hard time. Hard too. time, yeah. So we, I yeah. like like last last night when we did the practice, the acidic spike. Yeah. I, I think and acidic I is kind of like apple cider vinegar, balsamic. Balsamic, like a little bit yeah. The, the, the sour vinegar. Yeah, the sour vinegar thing. Yeah. Uh, but that's like you would think that it, it can be intense, but uh, like yesterday we did it and I couldn't pick it. Yeah. Today. I, we got it right so that's that's today was more easier than yesterday for the acidic the spike okay um, and then dms and blind too so i've, I've gotten it right before just bl guessing blind that i don't get anything i guess lactic i was wrong so I don't so get... so what were the the hardest ones for you in the panel of uh of flavors like today in the exam the i got wrong <laughs> yeah so dms so which i'm blind too yeah. and then the last one which would be hydrogen sulfide which is a boiled eggy thing that I've gotten before, but yep, yep. But not on the test. Dude, that concentrations kind of mess thing up, like the whole thing. Like sometimes you get get it, like it's it's very prominent, and sometimes you got don't you, you don't get anything at all. Mm -hmm. Like and, and I put that as lactic because I didn't get anything, and I yeah. thought it's a little tart, but yeah. it's just a guess. So there's a few that are hard. So I got four yeah. out of six. You got five out of six. Five out of six. Yeah. So I got the DMS. That's like cool. it, I that was more like a guess. Yeah. I don't think I would have gotten it as much without it. This is just more like a guess, so yeah. work out. <laughs> That's 15 minutes. Next 15 minutes is uh, yeah. the consumer descriptions. You give you three beers blind. You have to write five tasty descriptors. Um, this little, the consumer-friendly descriptors. Yeah. Like, anyone could, it, anyone would be able to understand those descriptors. But also, like, good ones. Good ones. That, like, good ones. You can't just say, yeah, it smells like orange. Like, you, they, they want I you mean, to say, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so be it as, smells as, like oral. as specific as you yeah. can uh, so Adjectives. that the people can relate to those descriptors. Yep. Uh, so no technical terms, no unpleasant terms. Yeah. So you got to be more consumer friendly. Uh, and that's like three beers, uh, five descriptors each. Yeah. Uh, you got 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what do you think? Uh, how we, do got, you do? we got Ho Garden, yeah. uh, which I think I crushed. We got um, Bond Beer, which I thought was like, almost like a Rosa or something. I yeah, got a lot. Of, I got I, fruit on there. I yeah, I put a lot of that sour fruity notes. Yeah, and, grapefruit. Yeah, grapefruit on that. Yeah, yeah. But all, all tasty notes. descriptors are not going to say like this is funky like bread or this is like mixed from you know. It's yeah, yeah. Tasty descriptors. And the last one was a blood orange something. Yeah, that's a. Um, I didn't write orange. Blood orange with spice though, like the the. Oh, okay. You that spice. So it was almost like a um, Belgian. So it's a revolver blood and honey. I think this is the one. This beer. Yeah. Yeah. So. To me, it was that almost like a, like a a Belgian blonde, stronger ale. Yeah, a lot of fruit character, a little spice character, honey. I, oh, that honey, God, yes. I didn't put honey though. I wrote I sweet to... Tupelo honey. Like I, you know, I, nobody knows the Tupelo. I think honey. I got carried away with it. Yeah. Like I put, I put some. Like I, I definitely got some spices, and uh, I put some floral notes like la lavender mm -hmm. and something. A little biscuit to that uh, too. The and sweetness. So I said, I said some like probably toasted cracker. Yeah. And and I think. I, I said, I thought it was like a pumpkin spice thing going on. Pumpkin. I thought yeah. it was. It was <laughs> definitely not a pumpkin beer, but I was like, this almost tastes like a pumpkin beer. But I put I put pumpkin out in it. I, I, I wrote I uh, 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 autumn uh, spices. Oh, autumn, yeah, autumn yeah, yeah, spices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. So I think we both. So, I mean, that that's the easier part of testing. Yeah, yeah. 
as long as you're two you're good. Yeah. So then they pull um, three of us, actually one of them, uh, he passed the oral exam, so he didn't have to take any orals. He was yeah. just there for the tasting. So he, they pulled us away to do two, two panels. Um, I sat with me and Woody, Master Cicerone, on food. Uh, he's gonna ask you all kinds of food stuff. Uh, he'll ask you uh, breakdowns on like, hey, how does food interact this way? And here's a dish of food, and here's a beer, how does it pair? Right. Uh, does it pair well? What would you change? Now you don't, like, you really have to crush on your ability to describe food, be able to pick apart um, how they pair, how they don't pair, what you can add, and how to cook with food too. Yeah. So all those yeah. are involved. And then they also then do a style breakdown. Yeah, on one we of style, yeah, with, we uh, style breakdown. Yeah. Uh, and that, like, they're gonna have you run down the old BDCP, um, like aroma, aroma appearance, flavor, uh, not appearance, but yeah, aroma, flavor, mouthfeel, ingredients, ingredients, and then and some commercial examples. Yeah, commercial so, examples uh, in this country and also co uh, commercial. I mean, from two different countries, yeah, usually, different right? Countries. Yeah. So if you got those examples, you're fine. Yeah. Uh, so, and, and they're gonna evaluate your progress based on what you say against the BGCP guidelines, 2021. Yeah. So. Uh, and then at the end, they're going to give you a sample. Yeah, that's a scary one. Right, yeah. So they may or may not spike it, which thankfully they didn't. They, they don't spike that. Usually. Oh, they don't spike it? No, okay, no, okay. not that one. Yeah, uh, so they don't spike it. Yeah. I believe before they spiked it. At least from, from my understanding of the people Maybe. taking tests. Yeah, yeah. So normally um, for. for but, the, yeah. but then you do the whole breakdown again. Right? So yeah. Can yeah. I do the right <laughs> twice? Like, so, so what does this, this beer look like? Smell like? So, yeah. Carbonation? Mouthfeel? Flavor? Bah, bah, bah. Yeah, yeah. So when once you're done with the what done with describing a style, and then they're gonna pour you a beer, uh, and then they'll ask you to try the beer and also explain like describe the beer, uh, and you're gonna talk through the beer, and then they're gonna ask you after you're done, they're gonna ask you like. Do you think it's a good example for the stock? Because they can throw you off and give you something close. Yeah, something, something, something different. Something, something different. Close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, we could say, yeah, it's a good, a good example if you think And then they, the crazy not. thing, I didn't know they did this. What beer do you think it is? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, that's a question. What? That's a, ooh, oh, that's what beer do you think it is? Yeah, like, yeah. It's like, I mean, you. I'm, okay. I don't think that's like a, it counts as a point. But if uh, maybe that's a bonus, mm -hmm. right? You know, the yeah. bonus. If you got this, uh, the commercial example right, maybe you can get a bonus point. Uh, but I don't know. But it's yeah. it's fun, uh, and that's where like the, these oral exams are like ten minutes each. Yeah. So we got beer oh, food. Oh, yeah. Time flies. Minutes, flies guess, so. Yeah, time flies. You got to keep talking. Make sure you talk about yeah, all yeah. these important things, and you guess don't beat around the bush. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> you don't have time to. Yeah. And the funny thing I mentioned is actually. This might be one of the worst places in the country to be throwing this test because um, Andrew, uh, Josh, and I went to some of the stores that could possibly you could possibly buy craft beer from, which is a trick for people. Yeah. If you ever take the test, either level uh, certified or certified, if you're in a new market, see what they have available. And this place has so few. Like it's pretty you, dry for you. The limited. Forms. Yeah, you don't have much options. I was I would say off the syllabus, you're you're wiping off fifty to seventy five percent of the styles you could take. Because there's just not that much beer available. And yeah. we saw on the shelf what was available, and they gave us what, what was available. And it's not cheating, it's just it's just what's available and what can you actually study for. Because, yeah. God forbid, you go to New York, Chicago, L.A., where they have everything. And they could throw you an alt beer or tropical stout or Baltic port. None of that is on the table here. Yes. Thank you. It's so, hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so whenever you, you're going to, if, if you sign up for the exam, make sure you go there like at least a few days for the exam so that you get a chance to like go do shopping and like pick those commercial styles that are not available in your town so that you have more practice with that's too exam. that's a more important thing yeah not only not eliminate but also yeah, yeah, yeah. hey i don't get this in my market and they can test me on it yeah yeah that's, that's okay so we did two oral exams then go back in and uh we do uh style distinctions mm -hmm. and crushed 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 crushed, crushed. um crushed. i will say i did i this is a good one. I got four to five just naming what beers they were. Serum. Oh wait, wait. I can't say. That. I should say what. I got four <laughs> to five. I shouldn't really say what beers they were, but we, we gave one away. Um, anyway, I'm excited. But we got four to five beers that I named correctly. Not only just getting it right at one out of four options, but naming what beers was specifically. That was pretty pretty like straightforward. It's, yeah, straightforward. There's there's no, no nothing tricky. They're but not trying. To, they're not trying to ruin one, you. One one beer uh, that we got like we got it right. Um, the Belgian Armstrong, the Belgian Golden Strong. It was hazy. 
like the appearance was like a little, little cloudy. Mine not, not cloud, not hazy, but mine was cloudy. Uh, like, yeah, I was like, I never saw this one cloudy. Yeah, <laughs> but but the options made it easier for me. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so yeah, no, it couldn't have been any other options. So. Beer style distinction: fifteen minutes. It's the same deal, but you get five beers. Each beer, uh, you get four options to choose from. Well, it can be it. anything. Yeah, it could be anything. Like different. Like you get a stout, and it could be like different options. Like it could be stout porter. I don't think they're trying to mess you up beers. on that one. That's a relatively easier part of the test, in my opinion. I mean, granted, in another market, it'd be harder, but they're not trying to like. But there's tight ones they could really push. They're but not you know, to, sometimes, sometimes they're trying you get, to get you. Make like it even if you get, even if you pick classic examples, sometimes it might be a classic example, but it might not be a fresh example, and you might confuse that for something else. Yeah, they could be tricky though. Um, but what, yeah, ours was like pretty straightforward. Yeah. yeah, and then one of the hardest parts of the test is a uh, uh, technical description where they give you a beer wine that they may or may not spike and you have seven and a half minutes to write as much as you can with technical compounds talk about appearance mouthfeel uh, aroma, aroma and, and flavor. flavor so it's and a whole breakdown of BGCP you gotta talk about every little thing uh, for including three years. adding as many compounds as you can yeah so so when you talk about those descriptors you gotta link them to the technical compounds and you should be in, in the same range of uh, what that beer style is and it, the, the closer you are, the more points you're going to get. But the technical compounds should also make sense yeah. uh, relevant to that compound. Um, so I think seven and a half minutes per beer, not too oh, much time. time. That's, uh, that's two beers in this panel, and you got to keep writing. Got to keep writing. Um, next, I mean, that's the hardest next level. But that's I argue the hardest. You, yeah. you, you they could, they could double. They could one point five to double that time. To be fair, in my opinion, to be like fair, because you like, Technical, the, the, the style of discrimination, the style of distinction, it took me five minutes out of 15 versus the commercial. I don't, I don't, out of the it's, technical, yeah, I don't think yeah. anybody in this world thinks that seven and a half minutes is enough to write a full page of writing. Maybe they it. want, they want you to like be yeah. quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, that's, that's I, the I would think part, 10 yeah. minutes to 12 minutes is way more fair. It's not a fair part of the test. They're, they want you to hit it and hit it hard and, and, and hit what they want yeah. and don't, and you don't have time to massage your essay yeah and they don't even give you two pages so you better not mess up and your page is your page and that's it and i think i think like one of the one of the beers could be spiked mm -hmm. so if one of he, our beers was spiked yeah so, he, got, so, he picked it up i didn't pick it up i picked so, up a different spike so. but i didn't only pick my spot like the spike uh but i also picked some different compounds that are also off flavors so i'm like so you can write everything that you perceive in technical terms as long as your spike is in those descriptors you're gonna get a point so, but because like my descriptors were, were like all over the place, I saw, I thought like, oh, it's, it's this compound, this compound, this compound. I listed up like four compounds. <laughs> yeah. But but that's that's the thing about technical descriptors, right? They, they want you to uh, they want you to know those descriptors so that you can get more points. Like you know that the more you use those descriptors, you get the more points you're gonna get. Yeah, it's a pretty hard part about test. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But that was that was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And the majority of Again, majority. Of, I mean, from what you're saying, majority of the points come from style of distinction off flavor. Yeah, those are the things where you can't like get a partial credit unless something's yeah. wrong. And you can't beers. get like one out of six or one out of five. Yeah, so you those like either you're right or you're wrong. You don't get any partial credit. Yeah. Uh, so you have more chances in the consumer panel and technical panel and oral exam compared to the beer styles and off flavors. So those you gotta do really good. So I'm glad I think we covered those points in, in beer styles and oral exam so that you have more room for the tests and stuff so yeah yeah um nerve-wracking tests thankfully we both have a written exam and um uh, high five yeah, for, for, for unless something goes really wrong <laughs> we both are advanced sisters coming in four weeks the, the good thing good thing for with the, with this exam is like at the end of the exam um they're mm -hmm. gonna discuss the answers. Yes. So well, not well. Part, not, yeah. Part, yeah. They yeah. can't grade your essays. They can't tell you your exam score and all. Especially this. like your your um, off flavors and your beer styles. Yeah, and they can give you they'll that. tell you what what beers there are and consumer and technical. Then you can decide like okay, you can get a good idea of like either you're gonna pass or not. So I think that's that's what made us con yeah. more confident. Four to six, five out of five. Five out of six, five out of five. So. Yeah. So. Yeah, Whew. in there. Four Dude, weeks I, was the I don't know about you. I was stressed because those all flavors. Again, I did four panels yesterday. I got two out of six on one of those panels. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I, I got two out of six. That, that was my like first panel I yeah. did, and yeah. You're setting up to fail if you do two out of six. 
but then again, if your style discrimination is great and everything else is great, I'm assuming you still pass. I don't know. I don't know. The yeah, because you need 75% off for the tasting exam, like overall. Oh, the tasting. Tasting, but tasting includes both the first half and the second half, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. everything, the whole tasting exam. Oh, so that's the other good news. Yeah. Um, you don't have to get a great score. 75 is okay. 75%, like, like minimum for passing yeah, the passing. tasting. Yeah. 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 You don't have to like, you don't get everything right. Yeah, yeah. You gotta get a C. <laughs> you gotta get a C. But that's a that's the tricky part though. Like, you know, oh, they, but like, they, they they test hard. They're like, you, yeah, they, they they grade hard. But o- so overall, much. on average, you need like eighty. Right. Oh well, depending on the test score. Yeah, yeah. So so it, it's always good to have more points. So you know, if you pass an exam, you, so yeah, as much yeah. Points as Unless you crash the written exam before, and then you're taking t- taking the tasting exam later, then you just need seventy five percent. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, it was uh, it was fun though. It was uh, really fun uh, doing the panels. With the experience, uh, and yeah. I'm, I'm glad that we had a separate panel like than what people used to do before. Like they had like a whole panel together, like written exam and a tasting oh, exam. Oh, back before present. COVID, they would yeah. do the whole test in one day, which is unbelievable. Eight artists, yeah, eight artists at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's nerve wracking. <laughs> I can't and handwritten. Yeah. I the amount of and words I wrote yeah. on my computer for written was unbelievable. I would never be able to do that on by on, uh, by pen. And Imagine pen. you were writing the essays and you have to go back, erase stuff, and write again, like something like this. And then go back, and, like, go back after the written, after your hand's been destroyed, to write another essay for tasting. Oh, yeah. So so we had it easier. So shout out to advanced cisterns out there. Shout out to the hundred, shout out to forty or fifty yeah. that passed because you guys are way better than us. Yep. I I don't think I would be able to do as well. We got that advantage over you guys so <laughs> yeah, unbelievable yeah well that's the story yeah, that's our that. update um we'll find the results soon thank you guys you got to Thanks, meet guys. now i'm yeah. sure i mentioned Anadeep on the the channel so cheers guys cheers guys from forward later <laughs>